Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're ranking the 16 MBTI personality types based on who is the most and least lazy. Starting with the least lazy. Number 16, ESTJ. So ESTJs are probably the least lazy of all personality types. EJs are all associated with high executive ability. That means you get stuff done. The problem being you have some issues. ESTJs can be sloppy, they rush things, they do things fast, and they don't care about quality. It's all about numbers to you. So if nobody cares about quality, you won't either. You're just gonna get the job done and it's gonna look bad, but it's gonna be done. And that's the most important thing. Number 15. On place number 15, we have the ENTJ, sometimes slightly carried away by crazy opportunities and projects, and sometimes uh, going more into uh, just thinking about or investing in uh, things, but not necessarily putting in the work to do it. ES ENTJs, they can be more focused on developing a project or coming up with a project idea than on actually putting it together. However, still, you do get a lot of stuff done and you are quite work-oriented and achievement-oriented. You care about accomplishment and so, as an ENTJ, you score quite high on not being lazy. Number 14, ESFJ. ESFJs, they're quite productive people. They get a lot of stuff done. They're quite active. They have quite full lists. If you look at an ESFJ's to-do list, it's always full of stuff to do. The problem is you sometimes overcommit yourself. You take on more than you can handle and yeah, uh, you're not gonna finish everything you do. So some people will say you're lazy because you didn't get everything you said on your list done. Beyond that, ESFJs, they're quite cool because they come up with fun ways to keep projects interesting and entertaining. So even when cleaning or doing something boring or mundane, they'll come up with a nice song, they'll come up with a nice dance routine together with it. And that's a way for an ESFJ to stay motivated. Another type that struggles with prioritization is the ENFJ personnel type. So ENFJs, they can kind of spread themselves a bit thin. They're always full of project ideas and always full of possibilities. They want to do this and they want to do that and they want to get this done and they have so many interests and hobbies that they can't really keep up with. So as an ENFJ, it can be that you are constantly daydreaming about this next big thing and here, here's the issue with ENFJ. ENFJs, they make problems too big. They make projects impossible. They want to have a thousand trained dancers. They want to have people to show up. They want to have a lot of money to get the job done. And they don't necessarily recognize resource and time constraints. So sometimes ENFJs ideas, they just don't happen. <laughs> Still, you put a lot of effort into designing and coming up with these ideas and you do work very hard. So as an ENFJ, you're not definitely not lazy. Then we're talking place number 13. Now place number 13, we have the ISTJ personnel type. And no surprise there, ISTJs, they're quite work-oriented, hard-working types. If something is on your to-do list, you're gonna get it done. The F being, you're probably not going to add it to the to-do list unless it absolutely has to be done. ISTJs, they are not really interested in change for the sake of change and they need a reason or explanation before they do something. Why should I do that? Why is this important? Why does that matter? And if it, they don't understand it, they're not going to do it. And then, that brings us to place number 12. Place number 12 is INTJ. INTJs are certainly hardworking types, but like the ENTJ, <laughs> They are quite abstract. So INTJs, they take a long time to get stuff done. So INTJs, they work hard, but they can take a very long time to finish. And sometimes people will think you're lazy because you're taking so long to get it done. But that's only because you're making sure you have the perfect plan, that you have it all mapped together, that you have it all planned out, and that you accounted for every detail before it happens. You're not gonna start on something you can't finish, and you're gonna want to anticipate what's gonna happen before you do it. And then we have on place number 12, ISFJs. ISFJs are also quite hardworking people. <laughs> They're really good at keeping up with chores and on tasks and to-do lists, and they, they usually keep themselves quite organized and quite neat. The problem being ISFJs also enjoy having breaks and they also plan for time off. They also plan for just time to chat and have fun with others or to have a cookie break or to get a coffee. And those things are also very important to you as an ISFJ. And sometimes people will say, well, you, can't, you want to break again or you want to uh, sit and talk and just relax for a bit. Uh, still, if you get your work done, why should they complain? 
Then we have place number 11, INFJ. I place INFJs kind of in the middle on the laziness scale. They are people that work very hard. Personally, I work up to 60 hours a week, well, 40 hours of my personal, on my daytime job, and of course, making videos and doing all these projects. But then again, is this work or is this play? So that's the question you're gonna ask, have to answer as an INFJ. A lot of time as an INFJ, you're so carried away by your dreams and your vision and your projects that, yeah, um, you remain on an abstract level. You're constantly thinking about doing stuff, but you're not always doing stuff. So thinking about stuff is not the same as doing it. And you're not necessarily productive or hardworking because you're constantly in your head reflecting on stuff. Okay, if you are on the top of this list on the, the most lazy personality type, you probably already know who you are. We're gonna get to number one, two, and three very soon. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about number 10. Number 10 on the list is the ESTP personality type. And okay, what's so special about the ESTP? First of all, they're very active, busy people. They're often doing stuff. They're always enjoy having stuff to do. They like uh, getting their hands dirty with stuff. The thing is, they can also uh, procrastinate. They, they can procrastinate by because, yeah, and then it's much more nice if somebody else does your own work, right? Sorry, let's move to number seven. I've actually lost count. Number seven is uh, the ENTP personal type. And okay, ENTPs, they are also people that like to think about new ways to do things and they like to talk about and discuss things. So sometimes as an ENTP, you can spend more time discussing what to do and arguing back and forth the pros and cons and less time actually doing it. And yeah, that's a reason why you are number seven on this list. Number six on this list is the ESFP personnel type. And okay, ESFPs, they like to have fun and that's just how it is. So a lot of time ESFPs, they'll kind of put things off. So they'll be like, yeah, but I wanna have fun first or I wanna go do something or I wanna go hang out with people first. So I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Uh, first, I'm just gonna have some fun. And yeah, what's wrong with having fun, right? Number five on the list is the ENFP personnel type. Okay, why are ENFPs so lazy? One reason is if you tell an ENFP to do something, they don't want to do it. The more you tell an ENFP to do something, the less they want to do it. So as an ENFP son or daughter, it's going to be really frustrating dealing with your parents and teachers constantly saying, you have to do that, and you have to do this, and you have to get that done, because stop trying to control me, right? Number four, just the solidly lazy personnel type is the ISTP. And okay, ISTPs, they get stuff done. They, are, they can put in work, they can put in effort. The thing is ISTPs only put in the minimal effort necessary. Why should you do more than what you are supposed to? Why should you put in more effort than necessary? What's the point? So that's why ISTPs are number four on this list. And now we're getting into the top three most lazy personnel types. Who is number three? Yeah, perhaps you already guessed it. Number three is the INTP personnel type. And why are INTPs constantly listed online as so lazy? I see INTPs sometimes cited as the most lazy. I put them as number three. The reason I put them as number three is because INTPs, they spend a lot of time thinking about stuff and they spend a lot of time analyzing stuff and they spend a lot of time researching stuff. But how much time do they actually spend getting stuff done? It also has to do with efficiency. Sometimes an INTP will spend 10 hours thinking about how they can do something more efficiently. And then they'll take the remaining 10 minutes left on a project to actually do the project. And the first 10 hours, nothing actually happens. So people looking at the INTP will go like, what did you actually do during these 10 hours? <laughs> because on the outside, it looks like nothing happened at all. Of course, it's good to be efficient, but uh, yeah, sometimes you're overthinking it. Now to number two. Number two on this list is the ISFP personnel type. And a solid reason for putting the ISFP on number two is because ISFPs just hate for being forced. ISFPs just want to do whatever feels right at the moment. ISFPs don't like having to-do lists. ISFPs don't like having uh, projects or tasks on their shoulders or expectations to follow or things to do. It's better as an ISFP if you can just take every moment as it comes. Why should you force anything when you can just follow the... Now, number one, the most lazy personnel type. Sorry, INFPs, you are the top most lazy personnel type. And the reason why I rank you as number one is simple. 
as an INFP, you just don't care about money or accomplishments or success, which is the foundation of our society today. That's what everyone is talking about today. Get an education, get successful, earn money, earn more money, get a promotion, increase your salary. <laughs> so as an INFP, it's like you don't care about that stuff and it's not interesting to you. Why should you do that? And why should that be so important? As an INFP, there are so many other things that just matters so much more to you. You have a strong sense of purpose and you have things that you care about deeply. You, have, you can put in a lot of effort and a lot of work into a task if you care about it and if it aligns with who you are and what you value in life. The problem is you just don't value the things most people do in this society. So from the societal point of view, you are going to be the most lazy personnel type of them all. Now, I would wear that blanket with a sense of pride and a because it takes strength to be able to resist the system and the mainstream of today's society. And you're not inherently lazy just because you don't do what everyone else does. You can put in effort, you do have energy, you do have passion. You just have to put it towards the right things. Anyways, those were my 16 most lazy personnel types. Would you rank anything differently? Would you place a type higher or lower? Let me know in the comments down below. And otherwise, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.